Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker beef bolognese. I'm starting out with my 6 quart electric pressure cooker and I have it set on a saute brown setting. And if your pressure cooker doesn't have that setting, just sit on pressure cooker high with the lid off. Now I'm starting out with a pound of hamburger and a pound of breakfast sausage. This calls for a pound of hamburger, a half pound of sausage, and a half pound of veal. But I'm not getting all fancy. I want to make it quick and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brown up my burger and my uh, sausage in here. And after I get that browned up, I'll be back. All right, my hamburger and sausage is browned, and I drain it, and I've set it aside. I have a little bit of oil left in there from the sausage and hamburger. I have one onion here, two cloves of garlic, two carrots that I diced up fine, and two uh, stalks of celery I diced up fine. I'm going to add them in here and get them brown for a little while. All right, now that my... Uh, vegetables have sauteed for a few minutes. I'm going to add in some seasonings. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of oregano. I'm also going to add in about a half a teaspoon of ground thyme. You can also use fresh thyme. All I have is uh, the dried stuff. And I'm going to add in a bay leaf. Now I'm going to continue sauteing this just for about three or four more minutes to get those flavors incorporated into uh, my vegetables. Right now I left my spices in there sauteing with the vegetables. I'm going to add in a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes, juice and all. Alright. I'm also going to add in, I have a 14 and a half ounce can of beef broth. I'm going to add in half of that. It's a little over 7 ounces. And my dog's over here making all kind of noise. They always do that when you want to make a video. Add a little more of that in there. Now this calls for red wine. All I have is cooking sherry. So I'm going to add a cup of that in. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. And I'm just going to eyeball this. And this also calls for salt. But since I used the cooking sherry that has salt in it, I'm going to cut back any amount of salt I put in this. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to return my beef back in here, my beef and my pork that I have draining over here. Right, I'm going to stir that well, get it all incorporated. You know what, I'm going to throw all that beef stock in there. Even though it don't call for that much, that'll be fine. All right, now I'm going to put my lid on here and seal it. Set this on airtight. All right, now I'm going to set this on high pressure for 10 minutes. All right, now this will come up to pressure and it will cook for the 10 minutes and then I'll quick release it. All right, my 10 minutes are up, now I'm going to manually release the pressure from my pressure cooker. All right, my pressure is dropped, and now this is safe to open, and you always want to open it away from you. All right. Now this calls for a half a cup of fresh Parmesan cheese, but I just have the, the canned stuff that's going to have to do. So I'm going to eyeball this. That's about a half a cup. And I'm going to add in some pepper just to taste. That's about a half a teaspoon. And salt. Now remember I use that cooking sherry that had salt in it, so I'm not going to put quite as much salt in here. About a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to give this a good stir to get everything all mixed together. I went ahead and I made some rotini pasta to serve my beef bolognese over. You could also serve this over rice. And if you're on a low-carb diet, you could just leave the rice or the pasta out. Now I'm going to finish this up by topping it with some more of that Parmesan cheese. All right, there you have it, beef bolognese. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.